I sure could use it when there's trouble. It'll take some scrounging, but I'll do my best. Ooh. Oh, that's right. something. It's the code book, all right. God makes all kinds of soldiers, but he only made one Cornelius Slate. My father followed him up San Juan Hill, through the legations in Peking, and as he put it, through hell the order was given. At today's muster, Slate asked me if I was Sergeant Monroe's daughter. I said, yes sir, I am. Slate said, your father always wanted a son. I hope the fool has wisdom enough to recognize his good fortune. Hmm. Aha. Now I gotta decide what kind of weapons I'm gonna use. I think a shotgun's gonna be on there. And let's see RPG. Can't even do anything to it yet. Perfect. I like the carbine, but why are you so close to me? Appreciate it. We'll solve a mystery first before we do anything. Just want to make sure. Ba-ding. Mr. DeWitt, looks simple enough. Tip the hat to the fox. Well, there must be more to this place than meets the eye. That was the only one I figured out on my first playthrough. Huh. Daisy Fitzroy. I've read about her. Books say she's out to tear Columbia from the sky. Everybody's got a dream. I don't want to be a part of their world. I don't want to be a part of their culture, their politics, their people. The sun is setting on their world, and soon enough, all they're going to see is the dark. Shocking as this may sound. What the hell? What the fuck is that? I'm not a big fan of the Look, RPG. A lock pick over there. Oh, where? Where? You notice it, Elizabeth. Don't hold out on me. Damn it, Elizabeth! And you have just grabbed it. You saw it. Oh, I see it. That's why I kind of had a feeling that was one, but it wasn't one hundred percent. Oh hey, I missed this. Is this one I've seen before? 
Nope, I haven't seen this one before. Expenditure. Look at this. My tower. It's only fair they give me a cut of the profits, don't you think? I found some money. Want it? Much obliged. Well, onward and upward. <laughs> Woo! That's not upward. This, on the other hand. I land on that platform? Oh yeah. This requires some finagling. I know I want to go here, but I have not. It really wants me using RPG. Oh wait. Who's that? Slate. I actually That's what I meant know to the do. fella. That's what I meant to do. I got the wrong uh Yeah. That's all right. I want to equip. Oh, that is the only one I have. Whoops, I thought that was on Newton's. You still got a knack for making enemies. I don't want to be a part of their world. I don't want to be a part of their culture, their politics, their people. The sun is setting on their world, and soon enough, all they're going to see is the dark. There's stuff down there. How do I get there, though, without getting killed? Mm, just jumping is probably not the right choice. Maybe... First things first. Uh, it's like playing a game that was released in 1999. It's got a lot of the uh, modernizations, I guess you could put it as, cut out. Like, uh, navigation mode is gone. Uh, if you have no money left, you won't get revived. You'll have to reload your save. Stuff like that. And it's hard. Now, I'm sure there are other differences, but those are the ones I've noticed at once.
I think the V, uh, I think Bucking Bronco should probably cost a little more than it does. It's pretty strong. Actually, notice if you wouldn't mind linking it. I'm kind of curious. I didn't hit the button at the right time. I meant to hit the melee weapon. That sounds about the changes I had expected in, uh, in the difficulty. That's pretty cool, though. Can I upgrade? No, I still can't upgrade Bucking Bronco. Our prophet, Father Comstock, commander of the 7th Cavalry. That man did not lead the 7th. Hell, I don't even remember the guy. Corporal DeWitt proved his worth on the field that day. Well, I'll be. Slate? Is that you? You've always been different, haven't you, Booker? You crave no glory. Look, I see you're caught up in some kind of jam here. If you could see fit to let us through to where they keep the shock jockey, then we'll- That tin soldier, Comstock, wants my boys dead. We won't die at his hands. There's going to be trouble. All my men have left is a choice. Die in the hands of a tin soldier, or a real one! We're no sin Like it or not, 
Just give us the shot, Jockey. If you want the vigor, sir, you will give my men a soldier's death. They wait for you with wounded knee and Beaky. You know, I think I already have the amount of these that I had at the end game of my first playthrough. Just what the doctor ordered. It's the joys of paying attention, eh? I'll try to keep you stocked with both bandages and ammo, but materials are always at hand. Uh, the second safe was a ways back. There's somebody right behind me. The boxer. Ready for more racism? What happened there? In Peking, it was my hand that put the city to the torch. Of course, that's not how Comstock does it. They really hide those fucking lockpicks. Oh! Was yellow skin and slanted eyes that did betray us with their lies until they crossed the righteous path of our prophet's holy wrath. Oh, I read about this. Comstock led the Colombian troops. Comstock wasn't there! The boxers took my eye and buried my friends! Is there even a stone to mark that sacrifice? Just give me what I need. I will. After you do the same for me. Come and look for me amongst the ghost dancers. Who are the ghost dancers? Wounded knee. He means us to head to the other display. Can you hear Comstock's tin soldiers coming to silence us? But we are the true patriots. The history that does not fit in their books. Don't hold back. Oh!
wonder if that guy wishes I held back now. Probably. Good. The tin soldier is taking credit for the deeds of the real ones. Now your companion, young lady, he wrapped himself in glory on December 29, 1890. What does he mean? You don't want to know. <laughs> that sounds pretty nice. That's also nice. Hmm. I'll take it though. I don't know if I'll use it, but I'll snag it. Oh, I see. It's scalping. Right there. With hue and cry, with hatchet red, they danced amongst our noble dead. But when our soldiers took the field, the savage horde could only yield. You... you were there. That wounded me. I can see it in your face. Tell her, Booker! Tell her how we strode that battlefield like the heroes of Sparta! I still hear the scream. I have no quarrel with these men. Heroes never ask. I never claim to be no hero. Then what are you? If you take away all the parts of Booker DeWitt you tried to erase, what's left? Come back to the Rotunda. It's almost over. What did Slate mean? you try to erase? Now that you're out of yours, you might realize cages have their advantages. A choice is better than none, Mr. DeWitt. No matter what the outcome. Yeah. I've got what if you, you need, woke up one day and realized you didn't like what you, you chose. You me past the First Lady's memorial. Our lady, but for a single week. Comstock had a child. My books never mention anything about a child. That's quite an omission. Can't imagine that was by accident. Took ill, and Our Lady prayed for the prophet's heir day and night. That's my tower. Lord, 
Wild Daisy Fitzroy has murdered my beloved. She shall not have the child. She shall not come betwixt her and prophecy. The seed of the prophet shall sit the throne and drown in flame the mountains of man. You're Comstock's daughter. No, I can't be. I, I can't. He wants you to follow in his footsteps. Well, I want a puppy, but that doesn't mean I'm going to get one. <laughs> I love that line. How's it going, Brady? Need some help with this. Not sure. I can get through these bars, but you're too broad. Let me scout ahead, see if there's some way to move forward. I doubt there are any budget cuts in this game. Is that? It's a tear, something I can bring into this world. It's a freight hook. Well, that's convenient. As I said, it's a form of wish fulfillment. Listen. Done. I feel there's more where that came from. Whenever I'd get anxious, tears have a way of appearing. Booker, do you see those tears? We can use them against Slate's men. That tear will get us access to higher ground. And that one will give us a turret. And some cover. Open it! Not sure I understand this, but I'm not complaining. Thank you for the help, sir. I appreciate it. Comstock's pet can do some wonderful tricks. You know what you've got there, Booker. That's enough, <clears throat> Slate. 
We just need the vigor to get out of Columbia. We're taking it one way or another. Slate! Uh, face, no, or face of the lady, yeah, no, this is my, this isn't my first time, this is my second playthrough. But, uh, please keep spoilers to a minimum, just cause, uh, there might be people here watching who haven't seen it, and if they haven't been able to, they sh they're in for a ride. Cause it's a good game. Much obliged. We'll finish Dead Space 3 at some point. I'm not sure when, but we will. Uh, it probably has been a noise. Twitch has been eating all of the messages. To the sky, Comstock bent his knee and saw with holy prophecy. And too rare is the man who takes the stand with you for and God and his sweetest fatherland. Was here the place where we revere the heroes of our city. King Menbooker. That's what Comstock will turn us into. Wires and gears to replace heads and hearts! Bronco does not work. Dead now. You see, Booker, maybe you're the man I remember. Maybe not. It doesn't matter. Comstock took our stories and scrubbed away our soul. Now, he's coming for me. And when I'm gone, all that will be left is the lie. Just give us what we came for! Ready. The whole place is ransacked. There ain't no shock jockey here. Slate must have taken them. Look. It's locked. Come on. Give me something challenging. Yeah, I'll be grabbing that minigun momentarily. All done.
Eats up ammo fast, that's for sure. But it deals some pretty serious damage when it's going. Comstock ships. It's coming for Slate. It was Slate who killed for his country at Wounded Knee! It was Slate who stormed the gates at Peking! Slate! Slate! Comstock's coming, Booker. But our lives won't satisfy him, oh no. He won't rest until he's turned us into tin. I won't let him. He took my past. But that's all he's getting from me. Just give us the vigor. We don't need to do this. Here you go, boys. A soldier death awaits. One step in that ship by accident. Elizabeth for NPC of the century. And Bucking Bronco for Bigger of the Century. Oh hey, I didn't even notice this before. I got plenty of vigors. Yeah, fuck it. My scout has seen him. Booker DeWitt is coming here to the hall. Oh, hello. That was a pretty hairy situation to be in. Um, if you want confirmation, it's 1999 mode. Oh, it just popped up before. Uh, what can I show to confirm that? Yeah, see, difficulty, 1999 mode. Uh, last time I hit N, it just, uh, brought up a thing that was like, you can't use that in 1999. Shit. That's fair. No, I mean, I've been wrecking people. I don't sound arrogant, but I was expecting to have a lot more problems than I have been. I suppose having beaten the game before helps with that. Oh, shit. Oh, that's gonna kill me. I need to get away from him as adamantly as possible. Pull it in. Uh, how much ammo is left for this?
Yeah, no, the crank gun is really powerful, and so it's it's pretty balanced how quickly it runs out of ammo. Come on, DeWift! Show me what you're made of! Open it. On it. Shotguns? Nope. No, the crank gun is definitely uh Yeah, there is a lot to take notice of in this game. Like it's oh sweet another carbine. There's a lot to take in, to say the least. Like my brother didn't see the uh the Jong Wilkes booth shooting Dem uh Devil Lincoln in the back of the head. Which I thought that was a really unfortunate thing for him to miss because that was pretty funny. Can't find anything. Yoink. I think I'll kill Slate this time. Yeah. I just stepped through some shotgun. doing? I'm just reading. You're not done here, soldier! Eat everything that's on your plate! Finish it! Yeah, you ain't taking my Bronco away from me. I suppose it was Mercy. Comstock's men would have taken him. I suppose it was. Do you ever get used to it? That's than you can imagine. Yeah, they're they're not weak. Punch. That said, less you know about me, the better. You yeah, know, Bucking Bronco, I learned to take advantage of what it could do towards the end game on hard. And I will continue to take advantage of that fact. I heard somebody spawn. There's 
a locked door around here, wasn't it? Or did I unlock that? I don't remember. I might be wrong. I think I'm wrong, yeah. Whoops! Uh-oh. Oh, oh damn it. Thank you! Here you go. Oh. You go. You weren't a believer in Bucking Bronco until then. Oh, I hope that turns you into a believer. Oh shit. Um, hang on. Boom! Oh shit. Back on, please. Got a particular strategy for that. Kaboosh! Oh god. Bring that in. Thank you. Thank you, George. I haven't been able to figure out what locking on does. Never really bothered with it. Um, I don't want to be on this rail anymore. I don't think. Or no, I'm, I'm fine on this rail. Just looked like it was about to disappear. It scared me. I'm running pretty low on ammo. I need a lot of things right now, Elizabeth. Thank you.
Appreciate it. Mr. DeWitt. The name's Booker. I'll be certain to attend to that distinction. Booker. When there's a moment when we're not being shot at. If you're interested, I spotted some supplies over there. Oh. Very good. Define over here. You meant over here, right? <clears throat> or do you mean over here? I think I already grabbed what she's referring to. I have a feeling I did at least. What is a life compared to a no. Patriot Booker? Nothing to hide. The prophet is not without you. No! Ow. Oh, warm salts, salts. Lockpicks to unlock this and here. Fuck, I'm one short. Oh well. Damn it. Over here so I can hit you, Elizabeth. I'm sad. Nah, I've already searched through here, Anoyas. When I was younger, I didn't just open the ones I found. I remember making. I think I just bugged out the game slightly. Go wherever I wanted. I just wanted to come back. To what? I don't know. My family. How do you do that? Whatever it is. You know how I said I had plenty of time to read. Well, I tried to figure it out. I read literature on physics and other stuff. Yeah. And what did that teach you? That there's a world of difference between what we see and what is. Alright guys, 